River Rats, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, the absolute middle of nowhere. Sometimes it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere and I'm really not. This time it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere and I really am. There's still airplanes though, but you know, they can fly a long ways. Anyway, had the most gangbusters evening at fly fishing last night and I mean, caught eight by myself and six of them were in like an hour, hour 15. Crazy. But I did lose the jumbo. Anyway, we have another seven miles of river to float and I should probably, probably get everything packed up and get rolling. So let's go. Found this cast net on the river. All right, it's got a hole in it. Hopefully it doesn't matter. Hopefully it still gets a few. Just cause you see them in one spot doesn't mean they're everywhere, I guess. Oh, they're there. That'll work. Big flathead will eat munch on you guys for sure. Yummy. One more. Cool. Alright, I need to get crap picked up. Now that I have shad hands, it's time to brush my teeth. Alright, can I do this without getting wet? Are my feet any muddy? Oh, they're pretty muddy. Just here trying to make things look easy. Mission accomplished. Okay, seven miles to go. Maybe a big flathead. It'd be all right. Probably some sunburn. It wouldn't be as all right, but more likely. Get out of there. Just hanging on. What are you, a turtle? Yep. <laughs> and I have no pliers. <sighs> I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he wants to eat me bad. Um, it's not hooked that bad. Let me. That. Thought it was the right kind. Let go of that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they have those giant, like, extendable necks. Kind of freaky a little bit if you think about it. Well, thought that was my flathead. Bought that turtle out of a pretty impressive snag, I like to think. Pretty sure I'm getting turtled. Seems like a wonderful time to uh, eat breakfast. Got some hard boiled eggs. Delicious and nutritious and cheap. All of them valuable assets. That was it. Oh, he has something. Oh, it was a flyhead. I don't know how he didn't get the hook though. Oh, now it's snagged behind me. <laughs> Whatever. At least I got it back. Weird angle. He ran way down river. Huh. Is he gonna give me another shot? It's acting like the right kind.
can't believe I got another shot. I don't know if it's the same fish. I just know he's tangled in my other rod. And somehow he miraculously just came out. Come here. Can't believe I got another shot. <laughs> Leg out. <sighs> Chunky little fellow. Thanks for joining the party. <sighs> they bite so delicately. Like, he was on there for a good 30 seconds. You just gotta wait till you get the right angle to set the hook. And he charged off. Is there another one down there? I don't know. I'm gonna drop one down and find out though. And the bullhead gets no luck though. was kind of out of nowhere um, the branch I'm tied off to just broke <laughs> and if he was 50 I would have been really screwed uh, just hang on uh, probably gonna break a rod that's what's gonna happen possibly lose one. We're just gonna go this way. Flip. Uh, he teed it up and then um, the log I was tied off to snapped. And my camera's underwater. That's probably not great. It's got a tool sign on it. Okay, come here, dude. I don't need that log anymore. They decided not, didn't want to be friends anymore. Man, he wasn't even that big. He just really mad. Ain't bad. What a mess. This is turning into a hell of a trip. All right, not a lot of big fish, but just lots of fish. This is bonkers. He's a nice sized one, fun sized one. And in this instance, moderately terrifying sized one. But uh, <laughs> that was kind of nuts. Okay, later. <sighs> not to regain my uh, composure a little bit there. <laughs> I uh, had a little something messing with my bait, and then that guy just must have charged out of there and said, get out of here. Now I think I need to fish the other side of the logs if they're not too stirred up after that mess. But I'm going to give it two minutes, because that seems to be all it takes. I'm supposed to have uh, an appointment in about four hours, and I'm like six miles from the ramp still. <laughs> I'm going to have to reschedule that one. Um, I don't think my bullhead liked getting drugged through them logs like that. Can't blame him. Oh, no broken fishing rods. Call him that a win. Lots of winning. Other than the fact I almost died. Where's the big dog in here? Yeah, if you're not an experienced kayaker, don't do this. And even if you are an experienced kayaker, I can't say I'd necessarily recommend you doing this. <laughs> that was, um, was just poor judgment on my part. If that would have been a 50 pounder, that would have been real bad. But back in here, 
with reduced current and a solid tie off spot, probably okay. Okay, we'll see how this one goes. The way those flatheads act is makes me wonder if there's not just a pile of them in here. I mean, the fact that I've got two out of the same conglomeration of brush also makes me think there's a pile in here, but um, when they'd hit it and run away, that's like run away from the brush instead of like down into it. I don't know, it makes a guy just ponder. Could be thinking too much, probably thinking too much, but you never know. All right, we're running into a mild dilemma. Um, I'm running low on water and I'm still like six miles from the boat ramp, so I'm gonna start fishing a little bit faster. Plus I'm thinking about the pizza I'm gonna get. Sounds pretty wonderful. Go on a 14 mile float and think about your favorite food on the way. Hunger is the best spice. Ooh, he's barely hooked. Come on. Not big. I thought he was going to swim up into the boat. He ain't bad. Alright, finish your freak out. I'll throw that hook in my leg. And we'll still be friends when this is all over. Yeah, he swam like five feet off the bottom before uh, he started pulling the rod down. But that was a big chunk of bait for this little tyke. Back to the brush from which you came. All my bait's dead. Even the bait that's not supposed to be dead is dead. And uh, probably gonna hit a few more trees. And uh, after that, just paddle in and maybe keep my eye open for some white bass, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Oh, nice. I'll give it a six over there. Uh, fingers crossed I can get, you know, one more ugly one. Maybe even a big ugly one. All the ice melted my cooler and that shad sitting back there. It smells wonderful. If you were wondering. Uh, oh, hey. I've never been down there. Listen to my cubbies play. And this little tyke showed up. Oh, a little wiper. Um, what? A nut job. All right. Might have to toss another one in there. Uh, hit him with that fade away. Getting to the stretch where you, I've seen more striped fish. I don't know why. Seems like there's just more life on the stretch in general. Lots of shad up in here. Should explain why them striped ones are too. I'm gonna get one shot, but it's gonna be a prime shot. This wasn't such a prime shot. It's like nobody else home. Back to thinking about pizza and listening to the Cubs. I have something large and in charge. As I'm floating down river. Oh, I snagged a buff right in the back. Oh, he's gone. Convenient. So I never felt it bite. I just lifted it and it was there. So I lifted it right into his back. Well, my Cubbies game's coming to an end. Their season's been over for a while, but uh, we won't get into that. Other than I'm going to miss Rizzo a little bit. The other guys is what it is. But uh, yeah, I'm almost the end. Unless something else cool happens. Um, this is the end of the video. So. Hope you enjoyed it, I really do, and for all of you who take the time to watch my videos, for real, like, means an absolute ton. Like, it's so cool. I really appreciate it. But, uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button. Either way, seriously, thanks. Hope you catch a giant.